We'll see how they play. We're expecting energy to go quite fast with the double duelist comp. We know tried and chew as the jet and the rays as they start off towards B. Good A control from Furia is going to allow a strong sight hold to start as here comes fast. the hit. Definitely fast. Both duel is going in. They can't the get in. separated by the snake bite. Victor now being fully flashed, but there's no contact yet from both sides. Heavily damaged order players of energy as three players now fall. Finally, Crashies beat. moves in and answers back. But Nazar is at the top. They have perfect angles here. They get a dog kill onto MW Zero. Room to breathe. Hope now for energy as Ethan surprises Khalil. Till him to a two versus one. Up to Ethan having a clutch. The IGL now for energy. Denied by Furia. Is coming out with a new cop. They also get the first pistol. Right choice on the defensive side, confirmed by uh, Havoc's push over towards the A alt orb in that first Viper bite that we had coming out, the snake bite rather from Conan, just delaying everything energy wanted to bring behind Demons 1 dash in. So that little stall out gave Furia enough time to clap back. We do have the outlaw coming through. Looks like they'll play that towards I'll A. Just a 2-1-2 two, two two here. Out. Energy is going to push for the same strat. Condition that Come they on, could go hard game. towards B. But they're making sure Marv has an idea of what the lurk could be this time. Just for a moment. Pushed off. Orb control coming in for Havoc. Already onto three with the first few frags in the round there. And it's going to be quiet for this one. Ramp controls gained. It looks like it's going to be a mid to be here, or at least a mid hit if they can get a kill there, maybe through vents. But yeah, this is a this is an energy sourcing information around. Energy at the beginning of the round seems like they were really trying to get that orb so that Crash needs to get those Seekers up ASAP. Yeah. So nice to know about Fury to start things off. All five players have energy now grouped up on middle. So hard to fight against all of this util that you have on the Viper playing top mid that's going in there. Cycling orbs, cycling smokes, getting the snake bites. So energy getting denied, beginning of the round now, mid round on both the entrance of B and middle. They still have everything for crashies. Just one minus black pet blast pack for Victor here. So this is the sight hit they want to see. Having Havoc's nade come out, Energy's very happy to have seen that. They go for the B hit again with this lurk from Mars still in mid. I like this though, passing around the orange line. Also pulling out the flash to actually blind a player and get the pick. Spike Name down. of the game is just trying to get the spike down right after with 24 seconds left, but the spike's down and out in the open. Yep. Very difficult for Energy to recuperate this. Long range now, outlaw double kill from MW Zera. Decent second round there for Fuhrer, but some good damage done on the side of the attack. Yeah, Energy did not want to go quietly on that one. They said, we're taking a few at least. The strategy would have been to get the spike down for that extra cash, but Furia is just too quick to react, even knowing that there was going to be that lurk there. They rotate through spawner, possibly the lurk in mid. They rotate through spawn, and Marv is forced to come into sight. So we'll see what Marv can continue to do on the lurk if he is left off, but it looks like Energy wants to keep this stack together for now. Three times in a row we're starting here. And this time even faster, Vansili. Yeah. Close range two, no time to TP away. His first entry, but quickly gets traded out by Khalil. The rest of the cavalry is there for energy just behind the entry from Victor. And he opened up the B site for a plant and a great start, really catching that outlaw out of position. What an interesting start to this game. Energy three times towards B. It's not something we usually see. This time it hits on, but now Furia for the following rounds can have to consider, are they gonna do that again? It seems like they can't stop it for now if it's just going to be oh, Victor in in the follow. One enemy remaining. That last one is going to be Khalil. It's pretty much stuck. There's so many smokes around that site. Energy is playing just behind it. Khalil trying to find some sort of timing. Here's a reload just behind him. Peeks back out, and Marv is just on the side to greet him. Energy, they invest in, in the go round, and they score, finally. So now does Furia go for uh, B main control, or more so mid control, so they can fight from heaven, retake, and not have to be so invested into sight, because <laughs> this conditioning towards nice. B is definitely going to play on your mind. Good cleanups in sight, finding the necessary frags to finish this one off. And like you said, a few members staying alive, so it's not going to be too bad. Yeah, so Furia still want to put that pressure on to B, making sure they have it. But now Energy switched to A for the first time. Paranoia on ramps. And we go right away again. That timing is incredible. 
Blitzer are going to continue to get that fight between Victor and MW0 at the beginning. Seekers coming out on the A site. And that's going to push Nosworth away. Fury will have to play the retake at this point with all the info out of the Seekers. Even making sure here we get a safe plant. Giving it over to Victor. Retake slightly split. They're trying to do the 3-1 for screens. Maybe Havoc drops an 8 in sight to disperse, and that's when they start to come out. This is going to be tough, though. Yeah, with that spike plant, you're just going to have to play it inside the site. The crossfires are just really good. Good position coming out of energy. Ooh, Very good. Pulse plant hold to tie up the game. Whoa. Cool. Okay. We know Energy's finding that once they, they got to the bonus round and then this first gun to gun round those basic strats are hitting that was a b hit for the one for bonus and this was a ramp paranoid look at the assists on that too right sky and omen off the back one there what is mw zara supposed to do when you're actually attacked by three people but it's just going to be victor bouncing up into your face off of that util so yeah it's gonna have to consider how they play ramp they do have the flash back up from two now as furia are playing to the conditioning of energy to now support this ramp control you got three players there all with stingers showstopper at the ready for energy should they need to use it but nobody's moving towards the ramp everybody's at the entrance players are actually split off across yes, both duels inside sight and the other ones are stuck behind maybe have to wait here for mark the ball the wall back up but there's the attack on the defense showstopper to help out a quick trade to start things off the rest of Furia pull back and they hold on the top of the ramp. Greeted by Marv, nice little shot. Now as they push down, great off angle positions everywhere from Energy. And now even position for trades, even saving teammates. What a nice little wall there on the attack just to keep. Crash is alive behind the wall. Victor alive behind the wall rather. And Khalil now stuck with nothing. 45 HP. Stinger and the spike planet for Energy inside the site. Demon 1 was the one that kept pushing towards the spawn and gets the pick. Three rounds towards B, three towards A. Energy hasn't even messed with mid that much except for one Marv Lurk. So they can, I feel like they can start to mess with a lot of timing here if they want to throw some varied rounds in. Across the map, they go for a default. Furia does look to set up with a hard sight towards A as we see this play once again. Almost thought it was two, but the clone gets hit on that. And Marv watching the flank, Demon one there. Their shots are just on right now. Finding the head of Furia. Low buy across that for armor on the side of Furia here. We'll have to see how this retake works. The way that energy, the speed, they're getting into sights and being able to entrench themselves. It, Furia cannot get in. That lurk from Marv is gonna stay towards B this time. First avoiding the flash, there is a swing, first contact, Havoc throwing the pain shell. Still a one versus one against Demon One. The rest of them now falling back. They have a lot of space here for energy for whatever they want to work with, uh, around the map here on yeah. split. As Marv is still there at the entrance of the B main. Now starting to engage towards the entrance of the A site though, energy. Trying to find a perfect timing, trying to punish some mistakes on over peaking coming out of from Furia. But they are also playing very, very safely on the defensive side. Yeah, Marv is saying, who wants this orb and be main? Oh, also giving this. info. Yeah. MW Zera is going to go on a fact-finding mission here in the drift. A lot of info. You see a bit of a rotation now coming in from Conan, but they have to keep 1B to watch this lurk. That's why Khalil is just going to stay behind on that B side. You already see the pivot from Conan down towards middle. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. Middle's open. Energy doesn't know it yet, but they are looking left. to clear it together. Still end up being two players inside the B site. A last second hit, pivoting towards this B site. First smoke, attempt of delays, early paranoia, but Marv found the timing. Oh, First wild. blood in the round, Khalil stuck in the back of the site, hides inside the smoke, showstopper out on the defense. 10 seconds left on the clock, showstopper left. connects onto Marv. Crafty's trying to answer back, a tap on the spike, White Swings gets the kill, then team it weren't for the save. Will the plant go down? It will successfully. A one versus two. Nosworth makes it a 1v1. Sky versus Sky. Crash is in the spawn that's planted for him. Nosworth looking to reposition. He's looking back towards the spawn. All Crashes needs to do here is to wait it out. Use it all the time in his favor because he also has a flash to work with on a tap of a spike. There's that tap. Crash is still waiting and continue to play that time here. Now there's a jiggle. Ooh, oh, Nosworth was lucky in the wrong place. There is that flash, and it's going to take a while here. You have to at least get it a halfway for Nosworth, so he sticks it. A peek on the reload. Now it's not even at half. You can definitely see nope. here that Crunchies can stay cool under the pressure. A nice attempt by Nosworth, but Energy still gets the round.
that that round from energy to be able to walk through the map without finding anyone and there there's been no mid play from energy we said that before so why would furia play that lower advantage or lower uh, position where you probably won't find the advantage play towards the back energy's hitting the sights fast and energy use this conditioning to waltz through a wide open mid 30 seconds on the round just the map conditioning right now the freedom they're getting to move around is incredible and this thought it was going to be the lock-in but crash he's just playing too much <laughs> not even close all right fury are going to call the timeout here start to get their thoughts organized not too many ultimates are going to come online but they need to get a read on what energy is doing to be able to take the map right now because they're only playing the extremities but they're getting everything they want that's the thing on different tempos. So what really is the answer at this point? Because you're yeah. still trying to figure it out. They've been death balling so many of these early rounds for energy. And that one round where they default, Mar was able to sneak through. And when they tried to fight aggressively towards A main, they were greeted by both duelists and decide to fall back and play a little bit more passively and turn inside the site. So yeah. I almost feel at the end here, you're giving a lot of respect. I mean, the fact that uh, Marv like extra weighted after they got Yoru drifted on the right side of the map to say that probably took focus away from B and sneak in just yep. after that window, but not not during the window, just after they felt comfortable that Furia had the read. Well, that's when Marv makes the move. All right, 4-1 different split for sure. Demon won on A alone this time with a spike drop. Energy are just gonna go ahead and allow a little bit of movement from Curia here on this low buy. They expect expect a bit and maybe this hero rifle to be used by Furia, so much more patient round from energy. And that's the thing here, with both teams not playing as Sentinels, you have to keep a player posted out somewhere. Absolutely. Not necessarily your lurk at times, so but just trying to find that audio cue, especially now that Furia has a lower buy. It was Demon One's responsibility to see if anybody was gonna push down aggressively. And as he hears nothing for that minute mark that's about that we're about to hit, all of energy are rotating towards that area so they could scale up together. And Marv actually just caught the paranoia fr coming through B main. So they know there was pressure gained on B main. They try to take the space. This lurk towards mid once again as everybody collects on the right side of the map for NRG. Furia with good, you, not, not decent util. But they could get in. Dog is pushing him away, but Khalil is close now with the stinger and oh beautiful my, it trade matter. there by Demon One. Michael Flake to get those two kills. Alert is moving up from Marv. Pretty sure he heard the rotate around, so he's cutting to rotate against oh, MW Zero. Easy one. Thirty now seconds. Now B side left. is open. A one v one towards the back of the site. Oh Demon One doesn't need help. He doesn't need help. He'll just do everything alone. J the reads on Furia's movement right now aren't even getting them trades, allowing them to anchor each other in these situations. And that was Demon 1 waiting for the Havoc push they've been seeing, right? Down towards A. Map on the left side was work. They see the flash coming through from Khalil. Marv can left. acknowledge that to the other side, and they're, they're much more comfortable to hit the site, knowing, one, it's a low buy, and a lot of the retake util is gone. All right, round eight here. Another look, no paranoia on ramp, just the full force by the duelists. Smoke on screens. Oh, sorry, smoke on heaven and screens as they start to hit sight. Up drop towards the air. <laughs> it's the decoy actually that was being thrown out down by MW Zero, but they know that he's close, floating around. There's that dagger in the face. No and then out way. to the battle in the dome of MW Zero. Back towards the site, Khalil gets denied by Victor. An easy plant now once again for energy. Safe inside the site. No, no need to really fight towards heaven if you want to, but they will do the same for energy. They're still gonna try to push towards the heaven side. Victor is moving in alone, trying to keep Conan and Havoc at bay and also not give him a chance to save those weapons. Conan last one to go, or last one to stand, is leaving the site. You can definitely see here towards that spawn. They're trying to hunt him down. It's the reason we see the, the double duelist composition of Bell, Conan gets one, Jet and Raze on split here. As much as it's been played, as much as teams have seen it around the world, it's still almost impossible to stop that engage. Mm. They oh, One's up and over, another one coming in through the bottom of the site, and Demon One's gone to the same spot and to get a double kill at elbow both times. So they can just rinse and repeat this strat as long as they're behind each other watching those angles. If Fury can almost do nothing, 
They're running that double duelist composition to max effect right now for energy. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to fight at least on the early chokes of where the satchels and the dashes could be, could be coming from. Mm -hmm. Then it comes down to giving up science. They want to try to fight back in the site before they have a chance. Energy, that is, to take position and take position within these sites. And he still lose these fights for Fury's side. Left. But the coffin itself is still pretty decent to play this, this full flood retake if you want to, especially with the Yoru in your comp. Yeah. But they're not really following that protocol yet. They haven't tried that. It seems as though they still want to try to fight into the close angles. This time it finally works out because they have a crossfire set up. Pain Shell's coming down. Dash away here from Demon 1. Seeker's coming out. Crash is getting the entry towards the A site. But three players towards the top of the ramp on the defensive side. They drop the spike. Demon 1 has to try to pick it up. Now spotted by the boom button. The sprays comes across the screens. He's able to escape. Move inside the site and plant. The push around from Crash. He's doing all of this. Gets that first one there onto Khalil. No trade. So he's going to set that paranoia on the top of the A site now. Where Fury has to now look towards A ramp and also towards screens to fight back in the site. And as soon as they're done with that, they have to deal inside a Viper's Pit. Placed down by Marv. Covering Hell, covering the entrance. Havoc at least from the top. He's able to take down Crashies. He's trying to fall back and heal Demon 1. Two versus three. One rare opportunity for Furia to get the, fir the third round in the half. Four Contact bullets. play, one on one. Marv outside of the pit! As they work together to take the three players out of Furia, Marv and Demon 1. Frag out! Incredible! And they lose half the team on the way half the team. They lose most of the team on the way in. The, uh, that was an awesome round for both teams. For Fury to come out and want to fight ramps this time, catching energy off guard to get that opening kill onto Victor. But that, that commitment on the play once it started to crumble from energy is what you need from your team. Everybody's still going in sight. They didn't get stopped on ramp and the instant audible to say, throw your wall up so we can re-grab Spike. And I don't know how Demon 1 danced out of those tracers, but they get the round as they're in sight after the fact. Seven to two here. Mid gets its first big focus of the game, really. It's gonna get an ultimate here coming in from Conan, trying to disrupt the space that Energy hasn't even really played through. Exactly. For Energy, it's easy. Demon one on the right side, off kill on the attack. The other one, the other four rather, a death ball. Really not focusing on any type of splits. The tap on the spike baiting both what? players of Furia peeking out. They both get denied. Conan cannot find the timing outside of this pit, so the pit is now wasted. As Nas were... Looks like they're gonna try to fight at least early. Can they punish Victor here in the fourth position? They cannot. Might just be the call to save, and no. Not when the shot's coming through the smoke. A kill from the IGL in energy. A strong attack half on split so far. If one minute breaks, the rest will follow. Oh, watch that again. And yeah, speaking of the IGL, the calls right now are incredible. I feel like energy is just carrot on a stick right now, baiting out these plays. Okay, we're gonna go to A a lot. We're gonna hit A another two times, three times in a row. This time, just leave Demon 1 back because they're gonna push and see if there's actually aggression. A boom. First blood coming off of that call, knowing it's either Havoc or this time MW Zero to push. The reads are incredible, and it's just making it look that easy here for Energy. Furia back onto a bit of a lower buy with the weapons here. Double rockets on both sides, and it's actually Energy that takes the upper hand. Player advantage on their side. They want to tempo up here towards this B site. Instantly catches Khalil with the dog, forces the TP back towards Hell. Finally, some delay coming through, but this is an easy reset for Energy so far. Watch in the back. Is this going to be a three push? At least one if they start to split up this team of three here. Khalil still watching sight. And Energy did this the first few rounds. I like the push down, though. They want to try to get behind it. Six cents are coming out of Victor. Jump spot, spawning the shots, hearing the shots. Fake TP2 to bait some more shots. But the pain shells now are pushing everybody back towards B. Where energy is looking to engage. There's that flash. Does not affect any players, but the trades are still really oh good. God. Too good for energy. They just re-cleared mid without even taking it. A, a boom bot and a fake TP pushes three off to think, make Furia think, oh, they're re-clearing mid. It might be mid to mid to A through vents. No, it was actually just a smoke heaven and that disruption. <laughs> Didn't allow any control for the site as B was being hit at the same time. These, these mid-round calls are absurd from energy right now.
I just love that they both got hit by a paranoia and you have a full 180 from Havoc and then Victor actually lands one in that corner by the orb. So one was flicking a little bit too hard here on the side of Furia. But fast tempo for energy this time around. Last round of the half. Nine to two is our scoreline as the A ramp is in control of energy. And look, they walk up A ramp this time. The, the, the reads are so disgusting. Full heaven control here. Not even more of a retake play by Furia. They're just being separated by members of energy walking through the defensive lines. Marv still able to watch the back too. Looks like we get the hit here, and Demon One's in sight. Kane and Dash, Seeker's out. They know now that the opponents are closer for Energy X. Okay, they're not even looking at their angles actually through. But at least Fear is able to fight back for A Heaven Control. This is going to be a long rotate though from Kalil. Hardly Seeker's any coming damage. Out too. That's going to find info on the last few players of Furia as well. Yeah, waiting back to take those out. The Guardian as well to come in. This low by hurting for the last one of the rounds. You can definitely see it here. Just waiting for the players to drop down for contact paranoia. Actually, pushes Marv back a little bit. Here's all of these footsteps. We'll get a timing on it back stab again. There's that first one. Havoc trying to fight that 1v1. At least we'll be able to trade it out. 1v2, but that clock's ticking down on that spike. Too little too late here for him to get anything done. He's trying to pad some stats, trying to get warmed up for the second half potentially. And there's a nice little shot, at least. But at the end of the day, it's energy closing the half, 10 to 2 at the lead. That that half Switching felt sides. like energy had a UAV online <laughs> the whole time. The way they moved, the way they were patient, drawing a bit of the utility out that they didn't want to deal with in sight. And a lot of times that was Havoc's nade, and they really don't have to worry about much other than flashes beyond that point, maybe a, a snake bite. It just looked like they had the run of the map. Well, ahead of today's match, we spoke with Crashies for his thought on the competition going into stage one. So let's check it out. They actually added a new player going into uh, this season, uh, NZR. And we know a lot about him just because he was on Leviathan and he's a pretty good initiator player, I would say. Um, and he's IGLing actually for that squad now. So they will definitely have like, you know, a little bit of a surprise factor going into it. Um, but I think we're really comfortable playing against like just Fury in general. Uh, we have a really good track record against them. So it should be a fun game. Good call there by Crashies who was talking about, you know, maybe new surprises coming in for Nosworth joining his roster for Furion. You see it. I mean, they're trying to pull out some novelty. We've seen it in other regions as they mentioned on the desk. You mentioned it here, Riv, but it seems as though it doesn't really phase energy at all. No. They play their own game and from A to Z, top to bottom, aggression to protocols. They're just winning in, in every aspect so far. It depends on how they play this. I wonder, it, it does look like MWD Zera is going to want to stick with the team. We leave Conan to the lurk. As you would expect the Viper to be kind of trolling about, but is is this the impact they need? MW Zera is going to have a little bit tougher time reaching the distance. The Havoc is if the gate crash isn't set up. The flashes have to hit way deep into sight. So Nasra and MW Zera have to combine those if they're not playing for separate flash positions. It takes a lot to get this in order, but it is not impossible. Just harder to orchestrate as Furia gets into the site rather than the Jet and the Rays. And definitely not impossible too when you're looking at this double duelist set up down for Furia. Remember, Havoc used to be just a demon here as a duelist player going into challengers out in Brazil. He was being scouted out, had potential to join a, or at least in talks in a couple of these partnership teams yeah. and chose Furia here in the end. So going back into a duelist role, maybe the main one to try to bring in the entry for the team. You'll see MW0 following behind a secondary entry with this double duelist composition. They look pretty good for double duelists on energy on their attack side. Hopefully Furia has something here. Something left in the tank in his pistol round. Just a very slow first contact though, waiting for the orb to come up. As soon as it pops, Energy's closing that gap, early paranoia. Players are staying yeah, behind. Are. Now it's TP inside the site, MW0 and Havoc. The two we wanted to create the space, get it done. But we went back and forth. Demon One is now solo. Raid boss with a sheriff. Dash available. Plat going down for Nosor, who also has a flash. Really cool entry into the site. 
Talk about it in a second, because Demon won. It might take a couple of other seconds before he lands another yeah. shot onto Khalil, but... His dash is still up. A smoke just came up for Khalil if he even feels safe enough to use it and create some space. But right now, I feel like Demon 1 will use it anything against him. Khalil understood that, so he's playing back. He's yeah. got to play the clock. I mean, hearing that Sheriff, you don't want to give... A he lot can see the shot! Why? Oh, Khalil was trying to find a timing. Demon 1 flicks across. And manages to come out of that at 100 HP. Oh. What a play. What a Red Bull clutch. Why does he use anything automatic? Just get the Guardian and the Sheriff. So this entry was awesome, right? The race does go in. The cra the gate crashes right there with the race as Havoc is trying to protect the position. But it did not work at all in this flick. Disgusting. Nice! <laughs> Jeez. Oh, they're having fun. And now you know why you will always see a sheriff in the hands of Demon One on pistol round. You're seeing a lot of jets, but there's impact frags behind that history. Furia call the time out. They're forcing into this one, but energy looks like they're going to put this one on the game of uh, game point for themselves with how they've been playing and how sure they are about playing behind each other on these retakes. I mean, if I was the coach, I'd be furious as well and call the timeout there after losing that yeah. 1v2 where yeah. the spike was planted yeah. for you. You've got perfect entries. The game plan at least enter towards the A site worked out in your favor. But again, you're playing against one of the best duelists that we currently have here in Valorant being Demon 1. You can't do any type of mistakes. Yeah. That's like mistake, you saw the result. Well, it was a different wall that we saw from Energy the first time. It came from Rafter, from the Rafter area, down through straight here. So they were able to really get themselves set up in behind that spot that allowed two or three more kills to come in on site entry. So really, really nicely done by Energy for that different setup to catch Furia off guard. Now with that plant, you know you're trailing behind here by nine points. Furia goes for a buy. Stinger's in a judge. Havoc with only one satchel in that judge. He's gonna try to... Oh, no! Oh. Yeah. Everybody felt it. Face plant. Right into the wall. Decays. Corrodes. Rusts. Dies. That's gonna not gonna make things any easier here for the rest of Furia. MW Zero trying to make some noise. There's no really TP to meet up with his teammates, so with that initial noise, it's just grouping back up. Trying to play the contact up through the B heavens. And energy, they want to play the man advantage. Air toxins going up. Cool cat. Slow yeah. take onto site. And they're starting to understand it. The paranoia came through just to clear towards the back of the site to get MW Zero back there with that TP. Energy will have a lot of util. 30 seconds left. Flash, paranoia, pain shells. Spike planted. And a dash here already activated by Demon 1. First contact through. One on the rafters. There's that first kill. Spotted a second one out of default boxes. MW Zero that was trying to push forward. And we're pinching in from all angles. Energy. They'll get the diffuse and already at that point. Nicely done on the retake. Expected round here is Furia forcing in, doing everything they can to even do damage to get to the site, but energy is offering up nothing but frags right now. Marv getting that call, the play towards Vent, not even a consideration. And yeah. Even coming out of the timeout, seeing a strategy not work is so deflating when you're trying to put those last efforts into the mix. And energy just shuts them right down. Still a bit to buy, but it's going to be low as energy go into this bonus. Playing a bit of mid control, but back towards A site and B. As the shots ring out from Furia here in this lurk, it's expected. Buddy system now for two players on the top of the A ramp for energy. That's Demon One and Crashy's just behind. Crashy's not even needed. But what's that? What is that peak though? What, what was the swing? Why was it one and then in the other? It, yeah. It Marv just seems dropping. like the setup isn't there. They're just pushing everywhere as well for energy. Dropping the lurks here on middle two. 
I just want to close out the map. Everybody's really holding W at this point, and Furia is now pinned towards the entrance of even a site at the orb. Finally, NW0 gets spotted. That paranoia allows here for both players to move up from behind. Yeah, Victor misses a couple of shots, but you know the end result. A full roster against NW0, and that will close out the first map. 13 to 2 in favor of energy. NRG are just pushing down on Furia right now, and we actually saw it really come to light at the end there with how they were trying to orchestrate against what energy had to defend with.